I was absolutely blown away by this little B-Link GTR7. I have not used integrated graphics that perform like this ever. As you guys can see on screen, Starfield is getting around 30 to 40 FPS. Resident Evil 4 prioritizing performance is hovering right around 50 FPS. CSGO 2 is hovering around 150 FPS. Fortnite is getting around 100 FPS. Dude, this thing is an absolute beast. The only game that I ran into a bunch of problems with was Payday 3 and that like stutters a lot on pretty much any gaming pc and as far as forza horizon 5 goes that was pretty much bound to run really well those are that's a really well optimized video game dota 2 wasn't really performing the way i wanted it to but call of duty warzone was also very playable i had to bump it down to 1080p low to get around the 60 fps and the exact same thing with hogwarts legacy I had to bump that down to low settings to get a, at least in my personal opinion, a decent frame rate. Grand Theft Auto 5 is an amazing game that's been out for a very long time. So that was bound to be running very, very well. So those are the newer games that I wanted to test with you. But emulation is also extremely good on this thing. And that's because it's an AMD CPU and quite frankly, Intel has a ways to catch up as far as their integrated graphics go. So I wanna quickly go over some specs of this thing because it does come with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, a one terabyte NVMe drive, and it provides, a, 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 I wanna say plenty of performance, but it like over delivered and having something that over delivers, you don't get that very much anymore. I was very, very surprised at the performance of this thing. The GTR7 has a wide range of connectivity options that includes four display ports, three HDMI 2.0 ports, and then one display port, 1.4 port. And then it also has two 2.5 gigabyte RJ45 LAN ports. It has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, and it has a variety of other ports, including USB-C, USB-A, and a bunch of audio jacks. I'm sure that you all knew that by looking at the photos and stuff like that, but I just really, I, I really am. I'm so blown away by this thing. The GTR 7 is a very powerful mini PC and it's able to run the latest games and literally Starfield, one of the hardest to run games is running at a playable frame rate. It's, you know, in the city area, you're getting around 30 FPS, but like when you start like exploring the planets, it's right around 50 to 60, which is definitely more than playable. You know what I mean? The design of this thing, it's, it has like a really sleek modern design and it's housed in a casing that has like lightweight aluminum chassis and it does get a little bit warm, um, but but the, the, the it's like the Razer laptops if you if you if you ever get a razor laptop the way that those are designed is that they have this aluminum chassis and the reason that they design it that way is so that the heat can be distrib distributed um like throughout the entire thing so it keeps it like it keeps it cooler but like as far as like the noise level of this thing goes it is extremely quiet even when it's under like high loads like playing games this thing i've I really I highly recommend this thing. I cannot believe that it performs the way that it does.